Hello, and welcome back to The Witcher 2. We go back here. And I'm looking for Casimir. They may be down there. Maybe. They're waiting for... We're looking for a trio of guys. Casimir and two others. There's a... Then there's a girl from the edge. Oh, those three. Czy ja dobrze widzę? Wiedźmin Geralt. A o co chodzi? Kuzyn z Wyzimy opowiadał, że nieźle grasz w kości. Gra. Jak się rozniesie, że mamy dobrego gracza, to może ściągną lepsi i stawki będą większe. Jakby przeszedł taki Einar Gausel czy Żegota. To mistrzowie. To jak? Grasz? Yes. Jasne. Świetnie. My tu gramy dla zabawy, ale Zyndram ma się za mistrza. Nie gram z byle ki. Pokaż, co potrafisz, to kto wie. What the hell? What that means? I want to play Kaz? Casually? Okay. Uh... Oh my god, I don't see. So this is poker. Right now I have... Oh, that's very nice. I guess one, two... There's a pair of fours. Now I can... Light up. I have no idea. Is five of a kind worth anything? Ew. I win. Hey. So this is basically dice poker. Miałeś szczęście, ale chętnie się odegram. Wybory tego bi. Gramy? Later. Uh, the other guy. Wait, where's the third one? You. Grammy? Yes. Oh, it's bad because I still don't quite understand it. Um. Okay, I have two pairs. I only roll that one. I have the pairs. Uh, yeah, he has higher pairs. Get them. Przegrałeś. You don't say no. Gramy? Yes, we roll. No, I lost my die. I really lost my die. Oh. Oh. I didn't expect that to happen. He knows he will win. Okay, I have... Wygrałeś. Thank you. And the last one of the three... Co? I would like to play dice. Zagramy w kości. To co? Gramy? Yes. If the free, he has no pairs, I have a pair, so I'm better suited right here. I have two pairs. And he has one pair. Wygrałeś. Chcesz się odegrać? Nie. Spróbuj z Einarem Gauselem z dzielnicy rzemieślniczej. Jak z nim wygrasz? Może nawet Żegota się z tobą zmierzy. Dzięki. Pracujesz dla Dymita? A ty to kto? Bo widzisz, Hojraku, trochę się już gubi. Przysyła cię ta szmata, chłopaki od Fistechu czy Loredo? Gadaj mi tu zaraz. Słyszałem, że upolowaliście trola. Nie twój zasrany interes. Well, me or I'll turn this place down on a Blaviken. Rzeźnik z Blaviken. Słyszałeś o nim? Każdy słyszał. Ono jednym cięciem flaki potrafi wypuć. Ano, potrafi. Jak mi nie powiesz, gdzie jest Dymitr. Przeozdobię te ściany twoimi flakami. Spokojnie. Mów. Dymitr przesiaduje na cmentarzu obok tej śmierdzącej wiochy. No widzisz. Jak chcesz, to potrafisz. Wybory tego 
Não. Eu vou ter que encontrar a Anetska, a Anetska. Always can be really easy when it comes to naming people. If someone's name ends with A, you can be very sure that you're looking for a woman. <laughs> Maybe. Of course. Um, maybe she's the moon in the docks. Hmm. Maybe the tree and one. Hmm? Nils kobieto, gdy artysta tworzy. No zamieszaj chociaż. Ja nie mieszam, hmm. ja zmagam się z tworzywem. Bo kiego grzyba my to nosimy, szefie, skoro port jest zablokowany? Żeby nie odwyknąć. Uszanowanka. Hmm? Ludzie, hmm. mutant mnie nagabuje! I have no idea what's wrong with him. What's, what's the deal with him, Przewodniczący? Bez żadnych numerów, dobra? Jesteś wolna? Dzień dobry. Hmm. You. I'm gonna check every woman in this place. Oh, how cute. Hmm. Elfia Sforge. Okay, it's not you, so we might as well try. Not trade you roll hmm not again oh those three ones are bad a three four five six which means nothing can I go out I think it means nothing Again. This this time don't throw your ass away. We have six, I think, no, five. I have two pair switches. Good, he has one pair for now. You. What was I looking for again? Mm. Oh, it's the wolf. Einar. Okay. I think he's inside. Hello. Cóż się do mnie sprowadza, biały wilku? Rozgość się, czuj się jak u siebie w domu. My się znamy? Wiele o tobie słyszałem. Właściwie czytałem. W listach od rywijskiej diaspory. Aha. Miło cię poznać. Einar Gausel. Zarabiam na życie handlując starociami. Zajmuję się też sprawami wspólnoty, nie ludzi. Mhm. Mm o. Are any books? Książki we flotsam. To chyba nie jest dochodowy interes, co? He! Przewija się tędy wielu cudzoziemców. Czasami kupują księgi, czasami coś sprzedają. Pani Sheila de Tancarvil, żeby daleko nie szukać, zrobiła wczoraj zakupy na kwotę równą moim rocznym obrotom. Kupiła coś ciekawego? De Vermis Mysteries, traktaty egzeterskie, kompletne wydanie oraz pewien bardzo drogi tytuł, który pominę milczeniem. Nadmienię, bo hojność trzeba chwalić, że złożyła przy tym datek na wspólnotę, konkretnie na fundusz wdów i sierot. That's very... 
albo do inną human community. I ludzie we Flotsam są zorganizowani? Nie są. W miarę możliwości pomagamy sobie. Moją rolą jest głównie zbieranie podatków i przekazywanie rozporządzeń komendanta. Idealny cel dla Jorweta. Hehe, <śmiech> nie mylisz się. Byłem przez niego wielokrotnie ostrzegany. Wielokrotnie też tłumaczyłem potrzebę istnienia mojej funkcji. Jedno i drugie na próżno. Jakoś nie potrafimy się nawzajem przekonać. Cóż, on jest od miecza, ja od pióra. Stąd pewnie różnica zdań. Widzisz, kiedyś nie było tak ciężko. Wszystko popsuło się, gdy zniknęło kilka elfich dziewczyn. Przestaliśmy ufać ludziom i wiewiórkom. Oni przestali ufać nam. Znalazły się te dziewczyny? Nie, sądzę, że zabiły je Nekery. Pamiętam Moril o białych dłoniach. Ona i jej chłopak tworzyli piękną parę. Okej, okay, let's see. Trowners. Harpies. Monstro. Nekers. I might as well. Do the society or of... Wait, wait, wait. So I need to have... I, I still need to have stuff... Uh, gold. To... A... B... Mm -hmm. Got them to pay the bets with. Um, okay, maybe some twine, like nineteen of it. Make our teeth. What we have lots of. It's a shame that it keeps on. Oh, I can sell my sword short. Short sword. Also, here I made as well. Really had lots of those. Thank okay, you, Small so blackjack. Yeah. Let's come on this magical. Oh, nice. Okay, so I can buy the last book from you. And we can. Pozwolisz, że rzucę okiem na twojej książki. No, no proszę I bardzo, nie śpiesz się. I won't roll some to us. Chciałbym zagrać. To gramy? Mhm. Mm, I have one pair, but I could do one, one, two, three, four. Oh, but I would. He has one, two, three, five, and one pair. So his pair is better than mine. And I could try to roll for five. And I did. Hey. Przegrałem. Pieniądze dla mnie. Masz. Więcej z tobą nie gram. A kto chciałby? Żegota jest najlepszy. Co? Zobaczymy. How can you be great at throwing dice? How can you be great at random chance? Okay. I'm back to my books. It's a shame that we don't know... We don't have them... Hmm... Marked which one we read. The cavern stands apart among all creatures, large and small, beautiful and horrible. It is unique, unlike any other being. Doubtless, it is a post-conjunction creature that appeared in our reality in the time when the worlds intermingled. It made its home in the waters of the Pontar, where it lives to this day. Over the ages, the chronicles mention several instances of the cavern appearing on the river's surface in various places. There is no certainty 
in these missions apply to one and the same creature slowly moving up or down river, or to the original creature's progeny seen here and there. Arachnids are lone hunters. They patiently lie in wait for the prey in order to kill it with one swift strike when it appears. The same is true for Arachna, our has, a huge creature that took a liking to the riverside forests, becoming their undisputed king. As rule thereof, the Arachnids will not share its territory with any other hunters, witchers included. Waves are not, as some claim, the outward manifestations of a an inner fear. They are visible, tangible, and dangerous on top of that. According to the teachings of priests, those who died suddenly without completing their tasks in this veil of tears become such specters. Wraiths have their own aims. Sometimes they remain unaware of them, but more often than not, they pursue their calling without the slightest regard for the living. There are many species of harpy, and all are kleptomaniacs, though some steal dreams instead of trinkets. They especially like dreams laden with strong emotions, such as nightmares that recur every night. The victims lose their dreams, which can actually be a blessing where nightmares are concerned, and the harpies encase them in crystals, creating them items that strongly radiate magic. Mages desire the dreams these creatures steal. They are even known to beat harpies on purchase with a view towards filching their booty at daybreak. Yet it is rare for a dream or nightmare to be powerful enough or to come from a powerful enough creature to satisfy the desire of mage. He who destroy a harpy's nest perched atop a rocky ledge must set a special, glistening explosive trap. When the harpy snatches its loot, the charge is detonated, and anything that survives the explosion is dealt with, gravity, with by gravity the eternal foe of all avian creatures. Given that they are necrophages, rot fiends feed on carrion and human corpses, but this does not mean they do not attack the living. They appear on battlefields near cities afflicted by plague or around villages touched by famine. See a rot fiend and you can be sure there are many more in the area. They appear all of a sudden and disappear even more quickly if threatened. So exterminating them is difficult. Trapping world fiends makes little or no sense. Instead, they are best dealt with by cutting off their food supply, that is, burning all corpses in the area. Corpses must be incinerated rather than buried, for world fiends are avid and skillful diggers. Without sustenance, the beasts will live in search of new feeding grounds. Entrigas are first creatures that resemble arachnids. They are especially fond of fluid planes, uh, as moisture and tall grass suit them. Longer than they are tall, they move about on all fours and are extremely difficult to spot as they lie motionless, awaiting their prey. Like Kikimors, Entrigas are divided into castes, with warriors being most numerous, guards being less common, and queens being a real rarity. These monsters, like arachnids, hatch from eggs. Impregnated queens lay the eggs in cocoons which hang from trees in areas known as nests. The lesser creatures zealously guard their queens, as colonies depend on them for survival. The queens themselves remain hidden, caring little for what happens to other adult specimens. However, when their nest is threatened, they emerge swiftly and fight ferociously. Thus, to exterminate the Nendriga colony, one must set fire to its cocoons to draw out and kill the queen. The creation of these formations began... It, it turned out that shitty shield bearers are as good at fighting as mobiles, the mobile skeletal units as a knight saddle on a pig. The first special forces were formed by King Demivent, and they were commanded by the infamous White Raila. Their effectiveness went hand in hand with cruelty and ruthlessness in their battles with the Skrills, and their hatred to non-humans usually extended, mildly speaking, beyond professional spheres. Elves from the Unions had equally strong enmity toward them, and the clashes between the partisans and the special forces were always extremely brutal and bloody. Besides fighting the Skoyatel, the Temerian species special forces car carried out a variety of other dangerous tasks, justly earning their reputation of effective professionals. Yeah. King Fultz's daughter, cursed in her mother's womb, entered the world a stillborn beast. 
entered, she continued to grow until she rose from the grave as a horrifying striga, the jack-toothed princess long territories Vizima, until a girl to freed her of the dark spell. Years later, Adda once more succumbed to the chorus, and the witcher again faced the striga. This time, however, politics were at play. The order of the flaming rose brought on the reversion in a bit to breed chaos in Vizima and overthrow King Foltis. Squiatel is a name used by the rebels fighting for non-human freedom. In the common tongue it means squirrels. As some would have it, it is because of squirrel tails that adorn the rebels' scabs, as f or from the forest board they had to survive on. Squiatel formed until over a score strong, consisting mainly of elves, yet sometimes dwarves and halflings joined too. During the last war against Nilfgaard, the Squiatel fought on the side of the Empire, making diversions and great damage beyond our lines. Despite the provisions of the Peace of Sintra, many did not disarm and continued to fight, especially when it turned out that Nilfgaard sacrificed them in the name of peace and gave the its leaders to the Nordlings to be executed. The power of the sorcerers can command the can command is commonly called magic. In the opinion of a certain sorceress I am acquainted with, magic is chaos, an art and a science, a curse, a blessing and progress. However poetic it may sound, it is hard to find a better simile. Everything depends on the person that uses that power, of course. Still, it is a fact that it can be used to achieve things not possible to normal humans. The witch's signs are also a form of magic, but sorcerers look at them with disdain, since they cannot be compared to the forces the sorcerers themselves command. Without magic, our world would certainly be less interesting, and many beautiful things would be forgotten. Once as numerous as the beasts they fought, today the witches are seen as a relic of time long gone. The exact character of their training remains a mystery. It is known it consists, among others, of the trials, uh, processes that are transformed their organs using a specific combination of secret herbs and infusions. Those who survive them gain superhuman reflexes, speed of reaction, the ability to see in the dark and many other traits making them lethal foes. During their training, they learn swordplay and basics of magic known as signs. Armed in this set of abilities, the witchers can effectively fulfill their objective, that is, protect humans from the monsters inhabiting our world. Uh, this we read. Dwarves are one of the elder races, stocky and bearded with strongly built bodies and low voices. They are distinguished for their height, which is lower than human. Of simple and direct manners, they are sometimes seen as grumpy, unkind and greedy. I have to stress that my own opinion of the dwarves is by no means similar to the latter part. Only side... I... I only cited here to present the views of other people, even if they are dual-minded, hate-blinded buffoons. Um, Hakam is a dwarf's mountainous homeland, named for its numerous mines where precious stones and ores are mined. Many dwarves also live in human cities. But that phrase usually adapts to the neighbor. Okay, we've read that. <laughs> mm. Sometimes drowned men return as monsters to haunt the living. Tormented by their own deaths, they seek to murder others. They prefer to draw their prey underwater. As their victims drown, they tear them into shreds and consume them like soggy biscuits. Such creatures are called drowners. They are numerous on the banks of the Pontar, as this large river, with regular shipping and riverside villages, provides them with ample sustenance. Uh, <clears throat> And I think that's all. Now let's go to Sandler. Mm, wait, because I... Yeah, I messed up. So I want that head. I hope this is a good choice to control back the head. I don't know. I don't know trolls. Culture um, when it comes to me. Treating to the dead. You, let's play. Chciałbym zagrać w kości. To gramy? Yeah.
Okay, I have two pairs. I have three and five. He has one. Oh, he has three and six. Great. I've lost this one. <laughs> I mean, I can try rerolling. I. Unless I roll. One, two, four. I'm screwed. I, I'm rerolling four. Oh my god. Screw you. Zacienki jesteś na żegotę. Daj znać, jak będziesz chciał znów przegrać. Jasne. O, the, the time has Chciałbym gone. to gramy. Okay, again I have to pair. Oh, I have three twos. I think we'll stick to that. Give me the head. Dobry jesteś. Masz swoje pieniądze. Are you make some pretty mean traps? Słyszałem, że handlujesz pułapkami. Owszem, i nie tylko. Wolałbym coś innego niż pieniądze. Dobrze, wybieraj. I need the shit rolls head. Chcę głowę trolicy. Thank you. See ya. And now to the cemetery. Hmm? Thank you. Can I take care of that. Can I go up here? Nope. I think that's the only problem I have with being able to jump is that I usually see some. This it looks like. Loredo się I'm pozna, bad. że to zwykły elfa, nie żadna wiewiórka. Gówno się pozna. Uszysz piczaste, spiczaste. Wsadzimy truchło w zielone łachy i Loredo zapłaci stówę. Tyle daje od łba. Ponoć Malena dostaje jeszcze więcej. Musi obrabianie strażników to lepszy interes niż obrabianie elfów. Ani słowa więcej o tej kurwie, jasne? Zdradziecka szmata. Już niedługo się z nią policzę. Za słabo jej dogadzałeś. <śmiech> Nie można dziewczyny winić za ambicje. A sztywny delikwent na ziemi to kto? To będzie sublokator naszego wiewióra. <śmiech> Jakiś szpicel z wizimy. Loret okazał się go pozbyć, więc skoro mamy wakat na żalniku, trzeba wykorzystać okazję. Nie wygląda na szpiega. Trupy nigdy nie wyglądają na szpiegów. A, i trzeba go przeszukać, zanim pójdzie do ziemi. No to jesteś Dymitr. A co cię to kurwa obchodzi? Masz pozdrowienie od trola. Zabić go! That went fast? Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Use your sign. Oh, there's lots of you. Okay, you first, because you aren't. Oh, you. Wait, wait, wait. I need to get rid of him. Oh, it's Dimitri. Why? Why? I don't understand why he went back. No! No! 
Oh fuuuuuck I don't know why I say 